Hey guys, we're really excited to have Garrett Schmidt with us here today, showing us five steps to mastering lead trumpet. And if you want the sheet music for the exercises that Garrett's going to show you, uh, plus a bunch of lead trumpet phrases that Garrett's going to play and backing tracks, uh, you can check all of that out at the link below at jazzlessonvideos.com. So for those of you who don't know him already, Garrett Schmidt is an incredibly humble college professor at SIUE in Illinois. Uh, but I know him as literally one of the best lead trumpet players in the world. He lived in New York for several years before taking this full-time professor gig. And while he was here, he started playing uh, all over Broadway with the Maria Schneider Orchestra and was just getting calls nonstop because he's just so ridiculously good. Um, so how did he do it? How did he develop these incredible lead trumpet chops? He's going to tell us right now in five steps how to master lead trumpet. I have always liked to focus on the smallest aspect of our trumpet playing, which is the airstream coming out of our aperture. So here is a visual example of how you should be controlling your airstream within the mouthpiece. Right down the pipe. Lower. Right down the pipe. To play higher. So now we are going to do four exercises to help master your airstream. For the sheet music for all of these exercises written out for you in all 12 keys, check out the link below. Step two is nailing the cash register. A lead trumpet player's career does not only exist above the staff. That's why we need to focus on what I call the cash register. The cash register is from low F sharp to F sharp above high C. I call it the cash register because if you sound good on all of those notes, you're going to get gigs, and then you're going to get cash. If you don't sound good on a G in the staff, there's a good chance we don't want to hear the rest of your Gs. Here are two exercises to help with nailing the cash register. These cash register exercises are going to improve your evenness of sound and make your tone much better. By the way, it's important to do all of these exercises in all 12 keys, and you can find the sheet music in the link below. Step three is articulation, and we're going to do three exercises to improve our articulation. Lead trumpet players need to be able to articulate their tails off. We have to play short, we have to play long, and we have to play in time 100% of the time. Exercise one should be articulated staccato and tenuto, short and long. Exercise two is target practice. Target practice can be done at whatever dynamic you prefer, but I like to do in piano. Exercise three is target practice with a trill. All of the greatest lead trumpet players throughout history have mastered finesse. 
Finesse is the ability to make something really challenging sound really easy. When you master finesse, the result is lyrical and melodic lead trumpet phrasing. Here are 10 phrases that will make you develop finesse. For the sheet music for all of these phrases, check out the link below. Step 5 is equipment. Every minute you spend searching for gear should really be spent in the practice room with these types of exercises to get results. One of the first times I played with the Maria Schneider Orchestra, I was called last minute and I did not have my equipment with me. So I showed up to the gig and Greg Gisbert's equipment was there and I just picked it up, I played, and it was fine. It's just proof that if you focus on exercises like these and trumpet fundamentals, that equipment doesn't really matter. Here are five phrases over major two five ones. These should be practiced in all 12 keys, and for that sheet music, check out the link below. should also be practiced in all 12 keys. For that sheet music, check out the link below. <laughs> 